What's up guys, Zinigami here, and let's go through some One Piece Chair Cruise news. On the global version of One Piece Chair Cruise, we have the Kinamon, I mean, the Kimono Ace and Marco coming out soon as secret rare crew characters. They will be only be available for uh, two days, from the 31st to the 1st. Uh, it's not going to be during a Seagull Fest. And although uh, Ace is a very Ace is very good. Ace is a 1.75 times attack for free spirit characters, which is quite nice. But Marco is just okay. And seeing as they are not during a pseudo fest, I cannot recommend you do pulls. You could do multi pulls. The last pull has a 50% chance of being one of them. But that's a lot to spend on a character that's just kind of okay. Save your pulls for pseudo fest because that's where the money is. On the, uh, the global version also has the Shanks Zero Stamina Island out. I do not have a guide for that out, uh, but I'll, I'll try to work on them and see if I can get a guide out for that or the Jinbei Island coming out soon. Or that Jinbei Island's already out, but I'll hope to get a Zero Stamina guide for either of those out soon. On the Japanese version of One Piece Char Cruise, let's start from ground up. Gladius and Dalton, Fortnite Islands are now, or the Coliseum for Gladius and Dalton are out now. Dalton is okay. His captain ability boosts the attack of Psy characters and quick characters by two times. And his special will deal damage and also boost the attack of Psy characters at 1.5 times. So not the best character, but he's not even available on Chaos. He's only available on the lower two difficulties. Gladius's captain ability is... Uh, he will boost the attack of driven and shooter characters by 1.75 and 1.5 times. Uh, shooters is 1.75, Driven is 1.5, and it does stack, so a Driven Shooter character gets 2.625 times attack. Now, there are not that many Driven Shooters, so you're probably not going to be using him as a captain. However, as a Strength Shooter, he fills that super special Strength Shooter slot on your free-to-play shooter team, because his special at stage 2 will deal strength damage to all enemies, reduce bind and despair for 2 turns, and boost your color affinity of your shooters by 1.75 times for 1 turn. So a color affinity boost, remember stacks with orb boost and stacks with type boost. So he is a perfect red character to stick on your shooter free to play team and highly recommended getting that Gladius if you can guys. Uh, Gladius also introduces a new debuff that only allows you to use a certain number of specials on one turn. So there's a debuff on the Coliseum that will say you only can use one special per turn. So you can't use like Doflamingo and Sengoku and Golden Dawn Usopp specials in that turn. You only can use one special. So I will be making a guide for the complete Gladius and Dalton Coliseums. Expect that out in the future. We are going to have a new Sanji. The new Sanji, it, this right here is just the uh, poster for the figure, the the anime figure for the Sanji. But there is going to be a naked Sanji on the Rayleigh shop. The naked Sanji on the Rayleigh shop boosts the attack of powerhouse characters by 2.5 times. It's a pretty good captain ability. And his special changes his own orb into int orb, so it gives himself a matching orb. And it reduces the special cooldowns of powerhouse characters by one turn. Not honestly the best special, uh, being a six turn cooldown. Reducing cooldowns by one turn is nice, and giving yourself a matching orb is nice, but there are often just many, many better specials out there. So, uh, a decent captain, a 2.5 times attack captain, which is always nice to have. But the special is a bit, eh, you can do without it. There is a, a buy gem event going on right now. If you buy the gems, you get bonus stuff. Like buying the back of 95 gems gets you a bunch of extras. And it's going to be going on between the 27th to the 3rd. Which is also during the Sugo Fest. We'll go over Sugo Fest in a second. The Whitebeard, the Whitebeard plus 6 star plus Whitebeard. So with 6 star plus Whitebeard being the first Whitebeard coming out, we expect them to probably release 6 star plus characters in the order that characters were released. So uh, that means that Whitebeard was our first six star characters. Rayleigh is our second one. Hancock's our third one. So we were kind of, I would assume that we're going to get them in order of release. So Whitebeard got his plus version. Then we might have Rayleigh as his plus version. Then Hancock, then Sengoku. Now the other way to guess is that we might be going by invasion release. So we got Whitebeard invasion first. And then we got Shanks invasion. So Shanks might be the next one to come out. 
Uh, so we might have six star, six star plus Shanks coming out next, but I would probably put my money on six star plus Whitebeard. I mean, yeah, six star plus Whitebeard, then six star plus Rayleigh, then six star plus Hancock in the order of release. If you don't know what plus Whitebeard does, Whitebeard is on the database, and six plus Whitebeard, his captain ability. Boost the attack of all characters by three times if you're below 30%, just like originally. But he will also boost your attack by 1.75 times regardless. So if you're at full health, he will now boost by 1.75 times instead of giving you a zero attack boost. And he also boosts your hit points by a small amount. Now it's probably either a 1.25 or 1. I would probably bet a 1.25, maybe a 1.5 times health boost. But it just says a small health boost. So a 1.75 times attack will definitely easily get you through those first stages where Whitebeard had troubles with that. If you had a difficult first stage, Whitebeard might die on those, but now you can actually kill things on the first stage pretty easily too. And Whitebeard is already something that can clear basically everything. And now he's just gonna clear everything even easier. His special ability also gets better. It still goes down to a 17 turn cooldown just like before. He cuts enemies' health by 30%, just like before, but he also now reduces special cooldowns of all specials by one turn and randomizes non-matching orbs. So if you have a matching orb, those will stay, but if you have a non-matching orbs, it will shuffle those. And since it is uh, completely random, it is going to uh, be affected by your orb matching chance. So if you have orb rates, like orb ch uh, chance of orb matching up, or if you have your natural orb matching sockets, you will have a better chance of getting matching orbs whenever you shuffle with a Whitebeard special. So probably the only weakness of the 6 plus Whitebeard is that um, since it's still that 17 turn cooldown, we're going to be basically using him at the same time as we'd be using other 17 turn cooldowns. And 17 is already on the higher end. And yes, it does include block orbs whenever he shuffles, just like El Shadow mentioned. So uh, even block orbs will be shuffled by Whitebeard Shuffle. So it's incredibly powerful special, even better than before. Incredibly powerful captain ability, even better than before. Whitebeard already could clear everything. Now you can clear everything and still use him as a casual captain with the 1.75 times attack boost as normal. And we have, uh, oh, how you get, how you, how do you get the 6 star plus white beard, right? So there's gonna be two ways to get his skull. There's gonna be a new red skull, which is just a generic red skull. And the generic red skull, which is not the same thing as the 5 star plus Luffy red skull, you get his generic red skull by either randomly getting it from the white beard Whitebeard invasion fight, the one that happens after raid bosses, the Shanks invasion fight, that's the one that happens after Coliseums, or buying it from the Rayleigh shop. And this will come out later on on the 31st. We also have a Sugo Fest coming out on Japan on the 31st. Now a lot of people are hailing this as the best Sugo Fest ever! Oh! Hi. Um, it's pretty good. You know, it has, it says it's doubled the chance of getting a legendary. Now it's uh, by a lot of estimations of people doing tons and tons of pulls, uh, it's about maybe a 3% chance of getting a legendary. So with the double chance, we expect maybe a 6% chance of getting a legendary. Or five, so I'm somewhere between 5 and 6% chance of getting a legendary. So at 1 out of 20 pulls, or 1 out of 2 multi-pulls, or in 2 multi-pulls, we would expect to get one 6-star character on average out of that, if you want to put that in multi-pull terms. And not only that, but during your multi pulls, you will have guaranteed golds or better. So this four thing here is that they'll all be four star and above characters. That'll be four star, five star, and six star characters only. No three star characters. So your guaranteed golds and double the chance of six star characters means that you're gonna have plenty of pulls. Now, if you, uh, this is a three day Seagull Fest. So we're gonna have different characters with different rates up on each day of the Seagull Fest. And if you want to know which characters are boosted on which days, you can go to the One Piece Trevor Crew subreddit. And uh, let me actually let me just let me just let me just show you guys the picture right now. So on the One Piece Trevor Crew subreddit, there is this picture right here, and it has the uh, each the graphical representation of each character boosted on each of the three days. So on the first day, we're gonna have six star Luffy and all of these six stars. These are the new Timeskip Straw Hats, and then the last batch of Timeskip Straw Hats 
and a bunch of other characters. So this will probably be the batch I will be doing pulls on Japan. This will probably be the batch I'm pulling on since I really want to get especially these time skips. And the new Luffy, Zoro would be nice, Cavendish would be nice, Jim Bay would be nice. Each, each, on each day, I personally need four six-star characters, but this is a nice representation of all the six-star characters you can get on day one, or, or day one, day two, and day three. Now, these characters, guys, are not the only characters you can get. These are just characters that have their rates boosted. So, if you pull on day one, you can still, for example, get Rayleigh, but you just have an extra chance of being able to get Kizaru or Camdish or whatever else. And... Boop, boop, boop. We are getting film gold characters back again. And the best thing about this is we now know that Zephyr is returning to Japan on the 20th of January. And Shiki is returning to Japan on the 21st of January. So remember, I said this last time while we're doing all the crazy, crazy clash of characters of raid bosses back to back to back to back. I'd love it if we just get Shiki on Japan. And yes, all those people that are crying about how Shiki's never coming back and how Zephyr and movie characters are never coming back, so you better get them now or for, you know, forget it. They're never free to play again. Well, there you go. Shiki and Zephyr are both coming back to Japan. So if any of the global players, if you didn't get to max out your Zephyr or Shiki's before, don't worry. They're probably going to come back. Now, it... The way that they do it is, and the way they've done movie characters so far is that they tend they tend to do movie characters in a batch, and they're releasing them as limited time raid bosses, and then they'll be gone for a while, and then they'll come back, and then they'll be gone, and they'll be coming back. So unlike raid bosses like Mihawk or Doflamingo that are kind of more regular, we expect to see them once a month or so. The movie characters come around once every few months, but that still means that they will come around. So if you don't get you haven't got your global or your Japanese movie characters maxed out you still got many many chances for them to come back around guys no need to worry no need to fret they will be back and speaking of the Sugo fest once again all the new characters that being the new six star luffy and the uh new as new six star uh luffy new time skip chopper new time skip brook robin usopp will all or they are all already on the database. We know what their four-star captain abilities are. Do we not know? We do not yet know their five-star captain abilities. But I will be having a character ranking video going over every single one of the new characters. So I'm also gonna go over the new Colosseum characters, the new Whitebeard Plus, and the new Naked Sanji in more detail on my character ranking video. And we have the new Time Skip Luffy working in the database. So we're gonna play with his numbers just to see. How dang OP he is, guys. I'm Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Wait and check out to see my character ranking video coming out soon. Oh, yeah. I've got my free pull to do on Japan. Uh, let's just, just do it, man. Look, just, just get a little bonus. A little bonus free pull. Free pulls are good. Hey, it's not a silver, at least. I've gotten two silver so far. Hey, look at that. Um, Are you... Is, is, I think that's actually I think that's actually new. No, is it? I think it is. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Did I get? Oh. Well, hey. Well, hey. I get a new character from the free pulls. That hasn't happened in a long time. Hey. All right, guys. Left feet. Are you left feet? Yeah, the feet. Heck yeah, man. I've been Zinigami. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all stay beautiful.